the Lean Twin editor works and how it could be helpful in your projects. Um, so first, I'll show you how to make a, a path. And this is a Bezier path. Um, so it can take many different kind of organic types shapes. You see uh, the two handles in blue are the two endpoints in blue and the handles are in white. So you can select those, move them around. Um, if you've ever used Bezier, Bezier paths, uh, you kind of know how they work. Um, the control points kind of influence how drastic the curve is and the uh, endpoints obviously uh, where it begins and ends. So there you go, you have an, uh, a curve um, that isn't too complex. So uh, there is an easy path creator and uh, that allows you to do um, some objects that would take a little longer to place all the points yourself. Um, I'm gonna start with a circle and let's make that a little bigger. No, five sounds good. Um, and let's just do less segments because I don't care about it being a perfect circle. Uh, so yeah, four segments. Oh, so it, as you can see, it's a little semi-rectangular because a uh, Bezier paths can't really, uh, can only approximate a circle with four points. If I was to get to really, um, specific about it. I should have done like eight. Seems um, pretty much like a perfect circle to me or looks close enough to my eye. Um, so yeah, now we have a neat little uh, circle. Um, I'm going to change it up a bit. Uh, sometimes these handles get a little too uh, small to click on. So you can always just go through the hierarchy and um, select the one you want. Um, I want to not have it begin and end in the same spot, so let's do that. I'm going to do a little kind of roller coaster like path. Um, let's put this, I'm going to zoom around to that building over there. Put that near the building. Right, yeah, I'm zooming around that building. That looks cool to me. Um, let's put the last endpoint down a little bit more. Um, yeah, so now we have a path. What can we do with it? Well, you can use this path uh, in your code. If you want to, uh, you can either move it locally along this path or in the real world. Um, I'm showing other parts about the visual editor, so I'm going to show you how to use the Lean Tween visual editor to uh, to animate the camera. I'm going to animate the camera along that path. Um, so I already did a step. Um, you just want to add a group that gets everything started, and then you can name it whatever, let's say, moving camera or you can just keep it the default name. Um, so for Bezier curves, you want those really only work with the move uh, move curved attributes. So I'm just going to click that one. You can also do move, move curve local. Um, so now I just assign it the path I just created lean twin path and uh, I want it to orient to the path and that just means it's going to face along the uh, direction of the path um, while it's moving otherwise it would just stay fixed and keep uh, the rotation um, that it has initially. Uh, linear sounds good that's just the, um, the easing that's applied so if I did ease out um, court it would start out slow and then get fast towards the end but um, that might be a little too much so I'm just going to keep it up linear. Right, let's fire this up. Oh, 
Let's also do like 10 duration because that will be a better speed. Right? Get my mug out of the way. Go, computer. All right, so you see it's, um, it's a little choppy because I'm recording a video right now, but you can see it's flying around the, uh, the building there. Um, so that looks cool. Uh, now I can show you how you can add even more tweens on top of one another. Uh, let's say you get to the end of that curve and you want to do a little spin around. Um, so I'm going to do rotate around 360 degrees because I want to spin all the way around along the, uh, the up axis. So that just means it will go like a ballerina. Right. Um, and let's do something besides linear. Uh, I'm always into the quad function. So where is that? Oh, ease in quad. That sounds good. Um, duration, I don't want it to be too fast. And the delay is 10, and that's good because it, then I'll wait for the, uh, the curve motion to be done with before it starts. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, right, so you remember the path part. Zooming around the building. Good times. Oh, now we're getting to the end. And we're spinning around. So, yeah, that's fun. Uh, let's do one more thing. Um, I'm going to make the camera kind of jump up and down when it gets to the end. Uh, I just want to show you how you can easily do a custom animation curve. Um, with the editor, which I love making my own tween curves. Um, let's have it. So the character is going to kind of prep for the jump. So it kind of goes down a little bit and it sprints upwards. And uh, it's going to return to the same spot that it started. So I'm going to have it go back to zero. That's a little trick you can use if you actually don't want it to end at the, um, the set value, but you want it to just go in that direction and then return back to its original location. Otherwise, most of the time you want this to go from zero to one because um, you want it to actually follow where you tell it to go to and not just influence it between. So that looks good. Let's see what that looks like. Do it. Okay, went around the curve. Now we're doing a little spin around. And then, oh, the jump was kind of crazy looking. Um, I meant it to, so we're at negative 125 there. Oh, I mean the y-axis. What I want to look at. So we start at 28. I want it to jump, so I would have to go up to like 38 or so. Uh, so defaultly, everything is set to zero. So what I did is I had just had it tween to zero. So that um, isn't what we want. We wanted it to just kind of jump upwards and then return to the same point. So uh, let's. Uh, Let's delete those other ones because you don't. You've seen those. You don't care about those. Um, so we're just going to start from the beginning and do a little jump. Jump. 
pump. Jump. All right, jumping. Bonk, bonk. Cool, so um, that is the editor. Uh, a lot of the um, action you can do uh, with code, you can do with uh, the editor, which is great. Not everything has been ported over yet, but um, a lot of it has, and I look to port more um, in the near future. So check it out, and thanks for watching.